Hi guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Well, now that we have all 12 of these panels made, here's all of mine right here. <laughs> let's sew them together and let's um, stuff our ball and get it completed. Okay, so again, this is a pattern by Patricia Heller. It's a baby educational ball and she gave me permission to make a tutorial on how to make this uh, project and so I thank her so much for allowing me to do that. Okay, so there are many ways that you can sew together your panels or join your panels. Um, you can crochet them together with a uh, single crochet and of course if you do that then it will have a it will have um, a ridge on all the way around the top uh, on the edges. Um, you can hold them right sides together and crochet them in a, with a single crochet the edges together and join them and I believe if you do it that way the ridge would be in on the underside um, you can slip stitch them together um, the ridge that would be shown would not be as prominent uh, you can also do that from the underside uh, and you can just whip stitch them together with needle and uh, your yarn needle and thread and so I think that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to whip, whip stitch them together um, I really don't think I want to have the ridge uh, the the stand up ridge that that will form if you crochet them um, but it's totally up to you how you want to do it uh, but I think I'm, I'm gonna like I like this the idea of a smooth the smooth seams so I think I'm just going to whip stitch them together okay so for the, for today's tutorial, all you need is whatever yarn you're going to use to join the panels together. Uh, if you're going to crochet them, then of course you know this is no, not the right hook. <laughs> but you would, would use the hook that you used to put them together, which I used a 3 millimeter hook, okay? Um, so if you're going to crochet them, you'll want to use the same crochet hook that you used uh, w to make the panels and the same weight yarn okay um, if and then of course you want a needle uh, your yarn needle to weave in your ends at the end or to, to actually do the whip stitching if you prefer to do that and of course you're going to need a uh, some scissors to finish up cut your uh, yarn of course and of course you're going to need stuffing and I'm a think I am thinking <laughs> that you're going to need a whole lot of stuffing I just grabbed this I have a big box of stuffing down there <laughs> over there on the floor uh, that I'm going to probably have to pull out more um, because I want I want to stuff mine pretty firmly now in the pattern she does even talk about putting a rattle on the inside which you can do, you could do that you could be real imaginative with how you want to um, uh, you know put a shaker type object on the inside if you want to do that I'm not going to do that I don't think I'm just going to whip it together and stuff it and call it done <laughs> so let's get started and I will show you how I'm going to be whip stitching these together so I'm going to take my white yarn of course this is the three weight yarn just like the yarn I was using through my throughout my whole project so if you choose to whip stitch your project together like I'm doing uh, I went ahead and uh, cut a length of the yarn that I'm using to whip stitch them together I don't want to have um, a huge length of yarn well this is pretty long <laughs> but uh, it's because I, I noticed that if you have it really long that it tends to not tangle and not up as you're pulling the yarn through and it just leaves it uh, it makes it creates a more frustrating job to do that so uh, I can always uh, knot my ends when I get to the end cut another length of yarn and keep going <laughs> or knot the ends together you know when I run out and, and just keep going with it so anyway let's get started <laughs> so I'm going to try to randomly put these together um, 
joining up the edges, you know, and lining up the stitches. Uh, since I did mine in different colors, I want to try to make it more random. Like, like, see, I have two purple ones here. I don't think I'd want to put these two purple ones next to each other uh, or the two green ones. You know, just space out your colors uh, to make it more random. Um, I did see one actually, and, and I hadn't thought about doing it that way, but I did actually see one where they did the back, the panel, this, this panel color, all in the same color, and it looked great. So, anyway, <laughs> for future ideas, that's what you could do. <laughs> okay, so let's just grab two panels here. Let's see, let me do this yellow one and uh, the bunny, okay? Uh, now this is a tail from the beginning panel, but I will just weave that in and this can be on the inside of my work and you won't see it. Okay, so I yarned up my needle and I'm just going to start lining up the stitches. I'm going to find the corner ones as well as I can and you can do probably what I'm going to do is the mattress stitch where I'm going to go through the not both loops but it would be like the back loop only I guess you would say the back loops of these uh, stitches pull up my yarn here leave a little tail at the at the beginning and then find the corner stitch over here on this on the other panel and go through the back loop okay pull that through and then go down into the next loop the next stitch on that same side um, back loop only pull it under and once since I'm now has the yarn going toward the inside. I'm going to uh, pull these together, turn my work over, and I'm just going to tie a knot with my uh, to my beginning tail there, just to secure it. Just tie it in a knot. Okay, and then continue on. Okay, now I'm going to get all this out of the way so it's not. Uh, so distracting okay and now I'm just going to continue stitching going from one side to the other okay so now I'm on the this side on this side so now I'm going to go down the go into the next stitch back loop only and and then go across to the panel on the other side like that and then go from the underside up go through the stitch on the next on the next panel and then staying on that panel I'm going to go one uh, stitch over or into my next stitch just working in the back loops and now I'm going to go across to my first panel and go up to the you know, I'm not skipping stitches. I'm just going uh, to the very next unworked stitch. And then the same side. And then go across to its mate on the other side. Okay. So I'm going to do that all the way up to the pan, up to the corner okay of that one side and that will unite those two panels together just like that And let me continue doing that and once I get up to uh, this corner right here united together and then I will meet you up when I get there and then we'll add the next panel okay 
Okay, so I got the two panels together. I mean, uh, uh, that one side, I've united them together. Uh, now, when I get up to the corner stitches, uh, I like to go ahead and go through the same stitch, the t same two stitches, maybe uh, at least one extra more time or maybe twice, just to kind of reinforce the corners like that. Okay, that's good. Okay, and now I've got those two together. Now I'm ready to add on my next color. So let's see. Let's put... Let's add one of these green ones. Let's see. Well, I would put this one, but they have we had these two white, a lot of white on both of those together. So I'm really trying to make it random. Let's add this. Um, let's see. It's however you want to place it, really. Okay, let's put the sun, this, uh, the sun star on there, I think. Okay, so now, now this tail right here is going to go to the back. Okay, so now we're just, uh, since there is an indention there, we know that one of the points on our uh, five-sided figure needs to go into that corner. See that? And so I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to go up in this new panel right in the corner, one of those corner stitches, uh, back loops only. And I can even go through this one and then back into this corner piece here a couple of times to reinforce them as well. Just to make sure that it's a gut, there's a really good joining there. Like that, and then just pull it tight. Okay. Like that. And then now I'm going to start going up. Um, I can start going up this way, or you can go up this way. How, whichever direction you want to go to just be uniting these panels together. And just keep doing that and adding, you know, adding sections until you run out of yarn. And then when you run out of yarn, just, you know, add, a, add another length of yarn to it and just keep going. Uh, I would, when you run out of this yarn, when you get to the end tail, then I would uh, get my new length of yarn and make a knot and tie those two together before continuing on just to have everything really um, secure. Okay, so I'm going to keep adding my panels on here as it's growing and I'm just matching up the seams, you know, and I will be back when I have all with mine sewn together before I close it all up. Okay. Hi guys. So I got the panels sewed together except for these two sides here. Um, I noticed after I sewed the panels together that this green one right here is going to be next to this green one, <laughs> which I didn't want to that to end up like that. But at least they are two shades of green, so I'm not going to change them now. <laughs> anyway, so here is the ball, and now I'm going to start filling it with this stuffing. Uh, I think it's going to take quite a bit. So I'm going to keep filling this, and then I will come back um, and show you once I've got it all stitched up, okay? So keep on working on your project. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, guys, I got my ball all stuffed and got the uh, it sealed, um, stitched up, and all the tails and everything weaved in and hidden. I'm very happy with what, the way it turned out. Uh, it did take quite a bit of stuffing, but you just keep stuffing and, and uh, molding it, and um, uh, it turns out good, I think. <laughs> uh, I did put the Velcro on the pieces that I had saved to the end um, because I was, I was thinking that it would probably stretch. Uh, so I kept the fasteners to the end before I added them to make sure that they would cover correctly. So anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I enjoyed uh, doing it along with you. So thanks guys for watching and we will see you in the next tutorial. Bye guys.